Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast Review. Today, we are taking a look at Michael Waltrip's 2003 Hootie and the Blowfish. Uh, I guess it's a Chevy Monte Carlo, but 2003 Elite. So this is the Elite Monte Carlo for the Hootie and the Blowfish car. I got this at Bristol a couple weeks back, and I walked by it in a tent. It was only like 30 bucks, and I was like, I gotta get this car. It looks cool. Um, so I love the way it looks. <laughs> Uh, then I got back home and realized I have no room for cars, so unfortunately it's going straight to the eBay page, but still a really cool car. I had to get it, had to review it because it looks so darn neat. So let's go right into it. First things first, we do have the clamshell box. Uh, it is one of 496, if you see the tag there, one of 496. Um, and then the standard clamshell box, everything else is the same. Let's go ahead and drop this down, get nice and close, and get it right up next to this car here. So let's see, can I go a little lower? I can go a little lower. There we go. So, if you look down the left side here, we obviously have our number 15. We got the Napa Auto Parts, so it's a standard Napa scheme. Then you can see where the, um, kind of the, what I would call almost like a tearing is taking place. So, like, looks like the paint is getting tore off the car. So, you see the uh, the Napa logo on the hood. We got Hootie and the Blowfish. Uh, then you can see the black here, and then it seems like it's kind of like tearing off as it goes to the back. Uh, you go around to the back of the car, we've got uh, Napa right here, and you can see all those, kind of like, I said, it, tearing or or scraping away is almost the way it looks. Um, it's on the right side as well. You can see how it kind of tears and rips away. Um, we got obviously the yellow roof rails or name rails there. We got our number 15 here on the roof. Um, the normal Napa car has a lot of blue on it. So this car looked, I think it caught my eye because of the amount of yellow. We had a yellow spoiler, yellow rails, uh, yellow valence on the front. So just, there was so much yellow tagged into this Napa car. It really looks good. The blue and yellow is a nice color combination. I would love for Napa to go back to that with Chase Elliott. Um, use a little more of that yellow like they did in 2017. They added it in 2021 i thought that car was one of the best looking napa cars they had um but in general i mean like i, I would just love to see the the yellow make more of a return i mean the white uh doesn't look terrible but i think yellow is really blue and yellow are the two colors that really seem to work no matter what on a napa car so i would really love to see that obviously it being an elite we've got the spokes here uh we got the uh, tethers and the brace here on the trunk uh we do have opening roof flaps even though it's a 2003 only elites had roof flaps opening in 2003 so you got the roof flaps opening with those tethers, and then we'll get those closed. And then, um, oh yeah, God, I can't, can't stop without showing the engine detail. So the engine detail on these 2003s, um, absolutely phenomenal. I mean, the amount of detail that these things have is second to none. Let's go ahead and zoom it in just a smidge. There we go. But you can see all that engine detail there um, just looks phenomenal. A lot of the plugs and the wires and all those pieces um, always been big, and then the metal grate on the nose there is another big piece that I've always liked about the Elites. Um, it does have a, a DIN plate there, functioning rear suspension. You can see that bouncy, bouncy, and it on the front as well. So overall, it's a really good looking car. Um, I'm not uh, huge on the music scene, so I don't know a ton about the band. I don't know any of their songs. Maybe if there's a good one out there, I might know it, but I don't know the names of the bands that sing them. So um, yeah, no sentimental favorite here to, to this one. It's mostly just, uh, like I said, I was walking by it at a Bristol tent. I thought it looked incredible, so I had to pick it up and and just uh, get a chance to review it because it was like, why not? I'm in Bristol. Gotta, gotta live once, right? Um, so anyway, guys, that'll pretty much wrap up this diecast review. Let me know your thoughts on it in the comments below. Also, if you're interested, you can find it on the eBay page uh, this week. Other than that, though, guys, that'll wrap up uh, this video. This has been Race Grays. We'll see you in the next one.